Science is organized knowledge. Wisdom is organized life. From such crooked wood as that which man is made of, nothing straight can be fashioned. Dash. By a lie, a man, annihilates his dignity as a man. It is not God's will merely that we should be happy, but that we should make ourselves happy. A person is only a person, when it has the power, to make sense of its surrounding. So act that your principle of action might safely, be made a law for the whole world. Morality is not the doctrine of, how we may make ourselves happy, but how we may make ourselves worthy of happiness. Out of timber so crooked as that from, which man is made nothing entirely straight can be carved. Act as if the maxim of your action were to, become through your will a be general natural law. Nothing is divine, but what is agreeable to reason. All human knowledge begins with intuitions, proceeds from thence to concepts, and ends with ideas. An organized product of nature is that, in which all the parts are mutually ends and means. Give me matter, and I will construct a world out of it. God put a secret art into the forces of nature, so as to enable it to fashion itself, out of chaos into a perfect world system. Nature even in chaos cannot proceed otherwise, than regularly and according to order. Notion without intuition is empty, intuition without notion is blind. We are not rich by what we possess, but by what we can do without. Look closely. The beautiful may be small. For peace to reign on earth, humans must evolve into new beings, who have learned to see the whole first. The busier we are, the more acutely we feel that we live, the more conscious we are of life. The death of dogma is the birth of morality. Have patience a while, slanders are not long lived. Truth is the child of time, ere long she shall appear to vindicate thee. How then is perfection to be sought, wherein lies our hope, in education, and in nothing else? Genius is the ability to independently arrive at, and understand concepts, that would normally have to be taught by another person. Thoughts without content are empty, intuitions without concepts are blind. What might be said of things in themselves, separated from all relationship to our senses, remains for us absolutely unknown. Better the whole people perish than that injustice be done. Dignity is a value that creates irreplaceability. Simply to acquiesce in skepticism, can never suffice to overcome the restlessness of reason. The reading of all good books is like a conversation, with the finest minds of past centuries. Settle, for sure and universally, what conduct will promote the happiness of a rational being? All perception is colored by emotion. There can be no doubt, that all our knowledge begins with experience. The greatest human quest is to know, what one must do in order to become a human being. Maturity is having the courage to use one's own intelligence. Honesty is better than any policy. One who makes himself a worm cannot complain afterwards if people step on him. Live your life as though, your every act were to become a universal law. Life is the faculty of spontaneous activity, the awareness that we have powers. Freedom is the opposite of necessity. Do the right thing because it is right. Always recognize that human individuals are ends, and do not use them as means to your end. Freedom can never be comprehended, nor even can insight into it be gained. The only thing permanent is change. Freedom is that faculty, that enlarges the usefulness of all other faculties. It is never too late, to become reasonable and wise. God, freedom, and immortality are untenable in the light of pure reason. The only thing that is good without qualification, is goodwill. All the interests of my reason, speculative as well as practical, combine in the three following questions, 1. 
What can I know? 2. What ought I to do? 3. What may I hope? Art is purposiveness without purpose.